Last week, I tested the biggest, most expensive SUV in the Ford lineup, the Expedition Max. And this week, I'm taking it all the way to the opposite end with their smallest, most affordable utility vehicle. It's been on sale now for a number of years overseas, but it's finally arrived on our shores. This is the one liter powered EcoBoost EcoSport. We've seen this story unfold a number of times. Automaker sells a small vehicle overseas not intended for the US market. Then the segment catches fire here, triggering a mad scramble to import it stateside. Case in point, the Echo Sport. Not pronounced Eco Sport, it's been sold globally for 15 years and after its North American introduction at the 2016 LA Auto Show, has finally arrived at dealerships as a 2018 model. Assembled in India, the Echo Sport plays in that subcompact crossover segment which continues to see double digit sales growth. This is the Chevy Trax, Honda HRV, Jeep Renegade Group where the pricing starts at around 20 grand. The combination of low price, big gas mileage, and high versatility is making these little guys popular while sedan sales continue to founder. The Echo Sport checks all of those boxes, by the way, making the most of its interior space with generous rear seat room and enough cargo room to handle everyday tasks. This four position cargo floor is just one example as to how that's accomplished. The cargo door swings out as well with a clever release tucked into the right taillight. The seats can be easily folded from the side or rear of the vehicle by first tipping up the seat bottoms. Now they don't create a flat floor, but the overall cargo area is quite generous for this class, offering more room than the tracks. Looking a little like a mutant escape, it's not the most attractive. But this high-end titanium trim in this upcharged blue candy paint riding on these fancy 17-inch wheels certainly does make a splash. It can be customized in 10 different colors, 6 interior choices, and cool ambient lighting. This here is a front drive model, but all-wheel drive is also available. Like this, it's fitted with a 1-liter turbo, making 123 horsepower and 125 pound-feet of torque. I know it's hard to believe, but this little three-cylinder turbo really does feel amply powered for this front-wheel drive Echo Sport, with a quick step-off, ability to climb hills, and excellent fuel economy. Four-wheel drive models upgrade to the larger two-liter engine. The fact that it uses a real six-speed automatic transmission and not a dual-clutch or CVT is a breath of fresh air. You're not going to go drag racing or anything, but its real-world throttle response serves up enough go power to prevent it from feeling lethargic. There's also a sport mode for the gears to get a little more out of it. Its powertrain with start-stop technology favors city driving, where it's most efficient, rated at 27 mpg, whereas the Trax, for example, delivers 33 mpg highway, where the Echo Sport only nets 29. But for my week, I averaged a stellar 30 mpg. Its tiny footprint is the Echo Sport's advantage in tight quarters driving with ease of parking and maneuverability. Its high seating position with excellent visibility is also a big plus. But the steering is definitely a bit aloof. Sharp yet disconnected with little bouts of torque steer, it really doesn't enjoy tracking straight very much. Now, if you're looking for something more from the driving experience, the sportier SES trim is available with an added dose of fun to spice up this otherwise middling drivability. It's a little rough and a little loud in here on bumpy roads, but nothing too off-putting for the class. These Bridgestone Acopia tires, though, continue to stand in the way of engaging handling by rolling over on their soft sidewalls. Just crank up the B&O Play audio system to drown out the road noise. A very impressive sounding system. The leather upholstered front seats are really comfortable, and I love how close the touchscreen is for safe and easy operation. Sync 3 with voice activated navigation, Wi-Fi, CarPlay, and Android Auto gives owners a touch of modern luxury. It's an easy to use system, offering two USB ports in the front, but none in the rear. A wireless charging pad would also be a nice touch, 
as would a larger center console. Safety features like side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, a backup cam, and front knee airbags are welcome additions. Plus, the Ford Pass smartphone app allows drivers to start, unlock, and locate their vehicle from anywhere. MSRP of this titanium model is $27,720, though a base Echo Sport S starts at $20,990. Because it arrived here midway through its life cycle, expect a quick redesign within a few years. The Echo Sport is a pretty compelling little choice and fills in nicely at the bottom of Ford's SUV lineup. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.